Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I'm back with another Spellbinders Club Kit. This one is the small die of the month, and it's called Decorative Mini Slimline Card Creator. And it includes five cutting dies. Let me show you what this looks like. So the large die of the month was also a mini slimline card creator and envelope creator. And this just will add to your collection of mini slimline dies, and it's just beautiful. So let me pull the dies out and show you each one. It also comes with a sentiment die that says, For You. I'm going to show you the clear stamp of the month. This coordinates beautifully with the small die of the month. Let me pull this out. Now there are a lot of sentiments in this stamp set that's going to fit in the center of this mini slim line. And the sentiments are really pretty. They say, friends make the world beautiful. You are perfectly imperfect. Wishing you an amazing day. And then there's some longer ones that say, hello there, happy birthday, and love you. But so you have options when it comes to your sentiments for this card. So let's go ahead and start cutting out some paper with these dies. This is some beautiful brushed gold cardstock from Spellbinder's new collection of cardstocks. And to create this, I used all three of these dies like this. Let me just inset these and show you. So that created this piece here. I'm also going to cut out the sentiment. Now when I cut out my dies, I make sure to cut them out one at a time. If I stack them, I don't get as good a result as I do if I were to do it one at a time, singly. <laughs> so let me cut out the sentiment. And I did cut out these together, but because they're smaller dies, it worked okay. So here is a look at this pretty sentiment. I want to add this gorgeous floral stamp to this card. So I'm going to peel this off the acetate and stamp this on a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock. I'll ink it up with some Versamark ink, but first I'm going to put down some anti-static powder. This will keep the stray bits of embossing powder from clinging where I don't want them to be. So let's ink up this stamp. I do ink it up a few times, but I only show it once. And now I can pour over my embossing powder. This time I'm going to use some antique gold embossing powder from Simon Says Stamp. This is one of my favorite gold embossing powders. I use this the most when I want to use a gold. This has a beautiful tone to it. Now I can melt this image. To color this in, I'm going to use my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. <laughs> I have a hard time saying that. So my Zigs. And they blend beautifully on this Bristol Smooth cardstock. So I taped it down to my work mat. And I'm using a light carmine here, just in the shadows. And a little bit of this color goes a long way, so I'm not putting down a lot. And I'm leaving some white spaces so that I can blend over it and get a lighter color for my highlights. And this is my Zig Blender brush. I wanted to have a little bit of a darker shadow on these flowers, so I am going to bring in a pink Zig and just put a touch of that down in the deepest shadows. And this color combination is really pretty together. And then I'm going to blend that out just a little bit to move the color around. These colors just look stunning with the gold embossing, I think. Now I am going to speed this up just a little bit. So again, I'm just putting most of the pigment in the shadows and blending that out. And I will do all of my petals like this. I'm adding a light green to the leaves, and then I come in with a dark green just to add shading again. I do like to clean off my Zig Blender brush 
by wiping it off on the paper just so I don't add pink where I don't want it or green where I don't want it. And it just cleans off very easily by doing that. I've been using my Zig pens a lot lately. I've just been having so much fun with them. And I've had these for about five years now, and I haven't run out of color yet. <laughs> the centers of these flowers are going to be yellow, just to add some brightness to the centers. And then for the two flowers on the sides, I'm going to use just the light carmine and blend that out. They're going to be a softer pink color. I thought I'd let you know how I did that because I did color it off camera. And here it is all done. I fussy cut this out. And isn't that just pretty? So here are all of the elements for my card. My card base is made from some barely peach cardstock. I love this stuff. I'm almost out of it. <laughs> I use it so often. And it measures three and a half by six and a half. So I'll use a little bit of glue to attach my brushed gold piece onto my card base. Those two look so pretty together. I'm using a tissue to dab up some glue. Now let's work on the sentiment. The sentiment is going to say, wishing you an amazing day. And I'm going to stamp this on a piece of the Barely Peach as well. I'm using antique gold embossing powder again to stamp this out. And of course, some more Versamark ink. I'll stamp this out a couple of times and then pour over the embossing powder. Isn't that pretty? I love the different fonts on this sentiment. So we can quickly melt that with the heat tool. And then I'm going to use this die to cut, cut out the sentiment. I'll hold it in place with a little bit of the best ever craft tape so it doesn't shift while I cut this out. And here it is. I'm going to use my all-in-one tool to poke out the little circles and they just pop out really easily. To add a little more interest to this sentiment, I'm going to pull out some Distress Oxide ink. And the ink I chose that I thought would go best with my coloring or my flowers is the Worn Lipstick. I'm using a blender brush just to add a little touch of color to the bottom and the side of the sentiment. Just needed something to make it pop a little bit more. And then I am going to use a tissue to wipe off the embossed lines so that they look bright again. I put some foam adhesive behind the flowers as well as the sentiment. And then I want to position this on the card so that I don't have to trim anything off. It's so pretty. I didn't want to cut anything off of this. We'll put it at the bottom. And then the sentiment I'm going to tuck under the flowers. And it's not going to be centered where it should be, where there's a place for it on the panel, but it still looks pretty. I'll add a few crystal clear gems around this, and I add quite a few. And the all-in-one tool is just handy to pick up these teeny tiny embellishments. Otherwise, they get stuck to my nails and I can't handle them. <laughs> so these dies make up some really fast and pretty cards. And I'm really loving the mini slimline cards lately. They're fun to create and really fun to send out into the mail. Here's a close-up look at the finished card. I'll have all of the links to these products listed below. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you find some time to sit down and craft. Take care, my crafty friends. Bye.